Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today I will show you guys some really important iOS 15.5 settings that you need to change right now. Now there are a few new features with iOS 15.5 but this is still a really important update as it is the last big update to iOS 15. So you need to make sure you check out these settings and make sure of course you have them configured the right way. Now another thing you need to make sure right now is that you're subscribed to the channel. Most of you guys that actually watched my videos are currently not subscribed so make sure you do that before leaving the video and of course smash the like button as it helps out a lot. We're starting things off with a new setting that Apple has added to iOS 15.5. This is actually not found on the settings app but you can find it on podcasts. So when you go to your podcast app and you go to one of the podcasts that you're subscribed to, what you can do is tap the three dots right there and go to the settings. Here we'll have a new option called automatically download and from here you can turn off downloads for this particular show but of course if you do this it won't affect all the subscriptions you have so not all of the, all of the podcasts you subscribe to will be actually affected you will need to do this individually for each podcast that you have so you can turn automatic downloads completely off or you can choose to only download the latest episodes and of course you will have here a bunch of new options so you will have two latest episodes three up to ten and you will have here days from 24 hours up to 30 days and then you can of course choose all new episodes now the good thing about this new option is that if you have previously downloaded a lot of episodes from this podcast you can choose maybe two latest episodes and it will automatically download the older ones that way of course you will save a lot of space on your device now another setting that you cannot actually change but you need to check once you have updated to iOS 15.5 is under general and about. Now when you go here of course there is nothing you can change here but if there is a carrier update you will see actually the pop up right here. So always make sure when you update to a new software that you go and check if you have any carrier update right here. You can do that by simply going to settings general about and if there is a carrier update for your carrier it will pop up right here. And now let's move on to some really important settings that you need to check and make sure you have them configured the right way on your iPhone. First of all, head on to the notification settings and right here, go ahead and find tracking notifications. Now, this is a new section that has been added with iOS 15.4. First of all, what you need to do here is make sure that you have tracking notifications enabled and you have them on immediate delivery. Now, what this will do if you just forget your iPhone or maybe your AirPods, it will of course notify you. Or if someone leaves a device like an AirTag or their AirPods maybe in your car or somewhere near you trying to track you, this will of course also notify you. The next setting you should change right here, go to banner style and choose here persistent. So the banner doesn't go away because you might miss that notification. So if it's temporary, it will say for like three or four seconds, it will go away. Choose persistent so you know you make sure you don't miss any of these notifications which actually are really really important. Moving on to the iMessage settings, what we have here under iMessage, text message forwarding. Now when you go here you will have your devices to which you can actually forward your iMessages. But what I suggest you do here is turn these off if you're not sure you want to get the messages on all of your devices. If you want to get the messages only on your iPhone, you turn these off and I believe this is the right thing to do. So let's say maybe you have an, Air, an, an iPad or a MacBook, but usually those are devices that maybe multiple people on your family will use, so you don't want to have all of your messages on every device. Just make sure you go ahead and turn them off directly from here so you only get your iMessages on your iPhone. Next up, head on to your settings, go to the seller settings, seller data options and make sure you have enabled limit IP address tracking. This will basically hide your IP address from trackers, that way it will protect your privacy on mail and Safari. Now you have this option for seller, you will have it for your Wi-Fi as well. So you simply go to the Wi-Fi network you're connected on, tap the little I button and cho choose to enable the same option. So you will have this as well there, limit IP address tracking. 
When talking about privacy, mail privacy is really, really important. Head on to the mail settings and right here will have privacy protection. Make sure you have this turned on. So what this will do is basically hide your IP address from loading remote content privately in the background even when you don't open the message. This make it harder for senders to follow your mail activity. That's really, really important for your privacy. That's what it says here. This is the explanation that Apple gave us about this option. So it's really good. Make sure you go ahead and always keep this on. Now, of course, apps will have a lot of things enabled for them on your device. They will have access to certain data on your iPhone. So you will always make sure that you know what apps are doing and what they're accessing on your device. To do that, head on to the privacy section and then go to app privacy report. Make sure you always have this enabled. This will show you what apps are doing and what they're using from your device. So let's say I go to Snapchat right here. You can see it shows me exactly what this app is using. The contacts an hour ago, camera 12 hours ago, photos one day ago, microphone and location. So it will show you the exact time when this app used anything on your device, starting from your photos to your location. This is of course always really, really important to know. When talking about privacy, head on to Safari and right here you have also a really important settings hide IP address. So this will hide your IP address from trackers. So you can see right here, IP addresses can be used to, to determine personal information like your location. So basically trackers based on your IP address will know the location and will of course track you. So make sure you have enabled this on hide from trackers right here by going under the Safari settings. Moving on to the Apple ID settings. So at the top of your settings app, you will find Apple ID. Go there and go to find my. Here we'll have some really important settings that you always have to have enabled. First of them, find my phone, always have that enabled. It's a lifesaver. And then you have find my network and send last location. Now find my network is really, really important. This will basically help you locate your iPhone, even though your iPhone might be offline or in power reserve mode. So actually power reserve mode is a mode that your iPhone will go on after the battery dies. So it will still have some battery left only to show you the location of your device. So that's really important, but that doesn't work if you don't have this turned on. And even though your iPhone might be completely turned off, if someone, let's say, gets your phone and turns it off, it's still findable if you have this option turned on. And of course, send last location right here automatically will send the last location of your iPhone to Apple when the battery is critically low. So always make sure that you have all of these three options enabled on your device. Moving on to notifications. Now notifications with iOS 15 got some new features, the schedule summary, really cool feature, I really like it. But of course, you will have some apps that you might have on a scheduled summary. Let's say I have Instagram here on scheduled summary, but then there are direct messages, which of course you need to have delivered immediately. What you need to do on any app like Instagram or Messenger or iMessage, where you get messages and you have them on scheduled summary, make sure that you have turned on direct messages because this will of course send you the messages directly once you get them and of course really really important that you don't miss any of your important messages. Next up we're moving to automations. Now this is a newer setting that has been added to iOS with iOS 15.4 and what it allows you to do is completely disable notifications from automations. So you have an automation, you want it to run in the background but not bother you with notifications and asking you and all that. Once you have turned off ask before running, then you can also disable here notify when run. So it doesn't notify you at all, it just runs on the background and does its job. So if you use automations, make sure you always turn off this setting. Moving on to focus modes. Now, if you use focus on your device, what I suggest you do is always make sure that you have share across devices turned on. So a lot of people have multiple Apple devices. So if you have a focus mode turned on, like I have here one for when I'm recording my videos, I don't want anyone to bother me. I want to have it enabled on my Mac and iPad as well. So what you can do is of course, always make sure that you have this enabled 
share across devices and you will notice here if i just go to the home screen of my device and turn on this focus mode right there on the ipad it will automatically turn on right here on the iphone as well and it just did on my mac as well so this is really really cool and of course a very very important setting to have on so you make sure you always have your focus modes enabled on all of your devices we're still here on the focus modes we have another setting you should turn on do not disturb focus status now what this will allow you to do is notify people of your focus status share focus status will let people know that you have a certain status turned on with the focus mode so of course if you just don't reply to them they know what you have going on and right here will have basically an option to notify anyway so if it's something really really important they can tap that option so this is a really cool setting of course a really nice option to have when having do not disturb or any other focus mode turned on whenever you have a focus mode turned on of course you have it so you don't get distracted from people and apps sending you notifications but all of us have important people and important apps that we need to get notifications from no matter what no matter on which focus mode we're on so we're at work we always want to get notifications from certain apps or people so you will have here allowed notifications you can choose people from your contacts list or just go here and choose any apps that you have on your apps list on your device and then of course you will be able to get notified from these people and these apps even though you have a certain focus mode turned on a pretty cool option you can find on the weather app with ios 15 is the ability to get notifications for weather so if you have the three dots right there while they're on the cities list you can go right here to notifications and you can enable notifications for your location or any of the cities that you have turned on, basically added to your cities list on the weather app so whether it will start a rain or snow or there is a storm coming you will get notified right on your lock screen from the weather app simply by turning on any of the switches right here and something really important that i think every iphone user should do is use scheduled summary on their device so when you go to your notifications that doesn't matter on which app you go you will have the option for immediate delivery or scheduled summary you can set the scheduled summaries at any time of the day you want and that's really good you don't get notifications all the time that will of course have a huge impact on the battery life of your device but you only get notifications at a certain time of the day that you want of course you can do this for the apps that you don't actually need to have notifications turned on all the time and that are not that important like let's say i can do that for the app store or any other app here like wallpaper apps or whatever i have any app that i don't think these notifications are that important make sure you just send them to the scheduled summary and last but not least really important check your privacy go right here to tracking under privacy and see which apps are actually tracking you if you have any apps here that are enabled and are being able to track you make sure to check these and if you don't want them to track you make sure to turn these off now, a lot of times when you install a new app you will get that pop-up you might accidentally allow the app to track you and you don't want to make sure to always check this list and see which apps can track you so that is it for this video guys thank you guys for watching these are 18 items iphone settings that you should change on ios 15.5 again thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe for more videos leave a like on this one and i will see you guys on the next video